Hello everyone, Kirith here, and what would happen if I entered a top split GT Sport daily race with no quali from the back? Well, we're going to find out. Here we are at the Red Bull ring in the Group 2 cars, not my strongest combo. And it's an incredibly strong feel. So if you're new to GT Sport, this race is basically the top 20 drivers in Europe at this moment in time. It's kind of like the European Championships in a way, except it won't go to penalties and England won't lose. But will I lose? Let's have a look. So starting the race in P19, right behind the Key 25, one of the biggest GT Sport YouTubers, GT Sport streamers out there, and a top split FIA driver. I had a feeling he was going to be on the medium tyre. So in this race, 14 lap race, we need to both use the soft tyre and the medium tyre. I'm on the soft tyre, the slightly faster tyre. I think he will be on the medium tyre coming from the back. That will be the optimal strategy. You do ideally want to keep the softer tyre till the end of the race when your car's light and you can really make the most out of it. We've got a quite a big squabble up ahead and this is my first race at the combo this week. Um, so I really need to drive well for me. It's not my best combo anyway. I need to put in a really good performance otherwise I just get absolutely dropped up against these drivers. But we've managed to get in the mix of things and we're up behind Edda, the Norwegian driver. We have had some good battles with him in the past. These corners are very, very tricky, especially in the Group 2s. There's much more downforce, much more grip available than I'm used to in the Group 3s. And then we see Manu just slot on the inside. I didn't fight it because I had a feeling that he was a much faster driver. And maybe I could follow him for a bit, learn his lines. And uh, hopefully follow him through some of the cars. See two cars, three cars going side by side ahead into the Pantanal corner. Very um, risky to do that because track limits are quite severe. So we give Manu a little nudge off the apex, but no harm done. And yes, there's a big swap going on. The whole field is within 10 seconds, so very compact field. And here we go for someone breaking just before that yellow flag blocks on the left hand side of the signal box and trying to get on the power as soon as possible. Ideally you want to power out in third gear, but if things are a bit sketchy, I, I go down second just to smooth it out a little bit. And it's going to be a big fight here at turn two. Big battle for the apex. What are we going to do? Just going to push into the inside because everything opens up and it does open up a little bit. In fact, quite a bit. And we're going to get past, I think, four drivers there wow so four drivers in one corner that is um, a good result for us as key's gonna do key's done this move quite a few times on me where he faints the outside goes to the inside and there is a little bit of contact there i think about following manu three but i didn't want to squeeze him out let me know in the comments if you think that move is is okay um it it is a fun move to pull off i've done it myself a few times so we're going to get squeezed out on the fight on the outside here but the danger when you faint like that is you can hit the driver head in the braking zone. So I think it's a good move, but it's definitely a, an orthodox one. But we obviously overtake some racing, so there we go. Right, two spanners ahead, one spanner behind. A critical moment in the race here for us because we need to keep up with the slip of the cars ahead of us um, if we don't want to get dropped. And I suspect there's going to be more drivers ahead on the medium tyre. Although the guy guy directly ahead i'm not sure if he'll be in the medium tire because he's not really coming back to us maybe he's also in the sauce we'll see when we go into the pits for our pit stop now we've got a decent run here this guy made a strong move on us are we going to return the favor let's see if he defends he's not going to defend so i'm definitely going to go into that space quite an easy place to make an overtake here because it's uphill on the entry to the apex it's makes it harder to overshoot and go straight over the top. So we slot back into 16th place behind Key, just outside the slipstream, which in GT Sport is about 7 tenths. It's 8 tenths, I won't cut it. To try and get it stopped here for this controversial corner. A lot of controversy in F1 at this corner. And uh, we will see some side by side overtaking in this video. So it can be done if you all the time leave the space. You can have some superb racing around the outside. So here we go, following Key, he has one of the best corners there. This is a really strong combo for Key. Group 2 cars, that's, I believe, one of his fortes. Um, so I'm struggling to keep up, even though he's on the harder compound of tyre. The tyre compound difference isn't massive here compared to other tracks, um, but I definitely am on the faster tyre and I still can't keep up with Key 25, which shows you just how fast he is and just how fast this whole field is, really. So we're going to go into turn one again. Someone's got a penalty ahead, the Dutch driver. Um, the field is still fairly close. The whole field is still on the straight, so 
the caliber of driver is is very good in this lobby i saw a couple of people go side by side up at turn two no harm done there by anyone the dutch driver is going to take the penalty we'll see what happens as uh, i'm a bit late getting on the power here i think this is one of my weaknesses for this race just a little bit unsure about getting on the throttle obviously didn't want to spin it we're in the ray brig here which is a um, better car around the corners, I think, are a little bit more unstable than the Nissan. So I'll use the Nissan for stability. If you really want to have a stable car in Group 2, then go for the Lexus, but the Nissan's just a good all-round car. I see where you get a big snap of Avis there. Maybe too aggressive with the inputs when we came off the kerb or something like that. So we're going to use a bit more time to the drivers ahead. And uh, I wonder if we'll start to see some drivers pit here. So anyone on the medium tyres might think might try and fancy a long run on the soft. Let's have a look. You can see on the time board on the left hand side. Are we going to see anyone come into the pits? I don't believe so. Let's have a look as we go around. No, so no one going really early in the race. Okay, everyone going into lap five at least. That's a better lap from us. Obviously every lap the car is getting lighter. So we should expect the lap times to fall until the tyres really do go off. And I noticed the guy behind us couldn't recatch me, so we're going to skip ahead to lap five. And here are some people in the pits. So we've got mass power, burst in the pits, and people coming off the medium tyres we suspected. So those drivers have got the slower tyre out of the way, but they're going to go long on the soft tyre. So that might come, that might be a little bit difficult for them at the end of the race when the softs will be heavily worn. But that promotes us up to P12. And we're going to go ahead to the next lap, and we'll see some more drivers pit. As the Spaniard goes off-road here, it's Manu. We'll see if we can go around the outside. And we're going to inherit fifth place by virtue of that overtake and also a number of drivers ahead of us pitting. That's one of the really interesting things about this race is the topsy-turvy nature of people pitting and you can actually get quite high up the order. Um, but it's a little bit deceptive. But we are in clear air. The drivers coming out of the pits might be squabbling with each other. You can see there's a big pack behind. If you look at the radar around turn one which we've got some lovely clean air here and i think the dirty air does affect the group two cars a little bit not as much as super formula but um it does affect them a little bit in the curves so do bear that in mind if you're racing at this track this week getting it nicely slowed down there but just a bit too i think it's still a bit too gentle on the throttle we did get a bit of overseer that's probably me having too much steering lock applied you do really need to get on the power there as soon as possible. You can exit out in third gear, actually, if you have a look at some of the ghosts. Right, this is going to be our in-lap, so we are going to pit this lap. We're not going to go for more than seven laps on the softs. You can see on the bottom left that my tyres are pretty much at the end of usable range. So we'll swing into the pits here. Quite an evil pit entry. Take a tight line. And you can barrel in here a lot more. It's pretty incredible to watch an F1, the amount of risk they take. Remember to put the opposite tyre on. You can take a little bit of time to check. I have seen drivers make that mistake. Um, naming no names. At the same time, so make sure you change the tyre. And we're going to come out of the pits here. And this is going to be the true indication of where we are. So there goes Spurs, there goes King Gears. And there goes F1 Slayers. Who else is going to come? There goes... Mario Lavaz, the Spanish driver we were racing before. We've got Black Star behind. So we basically slotted in where we were, although now we're going to be on the medium tyre and then maybe some drivers around us are going to be on the softs. So pretty much everyone that we've come out um, here with, we're going to be on fresher tyres than them. It's not necessarily the faster tyre, but it will be a fresher tyre. Right, Black Star's got a really good run out there. Is he going to have a look up the inside? Let's see. A little bit of a lag jump, and I'm not going to defend it because um, there's a big group of cars ahead. You can see on the radar, the race is split into kind of roughly three packs or maybe four packs of cars. And I really want to catch up with this pack here. So we're not going to fight Black Star at that moment in time. If you are enjoying this video, by the way, please do feel free to drop a like or even a subscribe to the channel if you're really enjoying it. We um, do a lot of GC Sport, iRacing, karting on the channel, uploading about every other day at the moment. So a lot of content for you if you do like this sort of stuff. And if you're already subscribed, feel free to smash that notification bell as well. If you want to get those sweet notifications. But here we go around the final corner. And we've dropped off a little bit off Black Star. So this isn't super from us. We're going to inherit a few more positions. It's Edda and Manu. Those are drivers that we were racing against. It'll be interesting to see if we can come out ahead of them. Let's have a look. Especially Manu. And I believe that we are. Yes. Yeah, so 
We are now P16 genuinely on the road. And we're looking forward. You can see that group of cars ahead. That probably goes all the way up to P10, maybe even P9. Um, so definitely some spools of war to be had. So we're going to go into this corner, follow Blatsar, try and get a good exit again quite gingerly. Applying the throttle. Blatsar's got a half second penalty. He's a second ahead. What's that going to do? I don't think I'm going to have the overspeed. So I'm not going to go for the overtake here. Again, don't want to waste unnecessary time. Don't want him to worry about going defensive. So we're following around here. You can see the mediums don't quite have as much grip as the soft tide is. But uh, maybe Blatsar can be my ticket to that group ahead. That would be superb if so. Again, understeering here, not really maximising the downforce available. And I can see that group of cars ahead does go up to P10. So if they fight and we work together, this could be good stuff. I'm right at the end of the slipstream range. We're going to zoom ahead to lap 12 now. So I didn't really gain anything. I think we inherited the position of someone's span. But we didn't eat into the uh, pack ahead until now. So Blastar goes up the inside of the finished driver. And... We're going to get a decent exit, so we will be in the slipstream. And there are still a number of cars fighting ahead. Manu's behind, and we know that he's fast. So we've got him to worry about, but let's focus ahead for the time being. I'm going to break quite late here, but do get it turned in. Do hit that apex. And um, again, accelerating out of second gear, I think not ideal. So if you want to be really, really fast, got to try and get out there in third. So we're going to again slide around at this corner. Very tricky corner. But we're getting very close to the finish driver now. Might have slightly better exit than him there. Wasn't great anyway. Only going to be two laps to go when we go over the line. It's not a lot of time to get involved here and make something happen, but considering we start at the back with a no quality in top split, um, if we could gain another position, that would be absolutely superb. And there goes the finish driver quite wide. He does save it. I think about going up the inside, but I think he gains it because he got a one second penalty. It's a big old penalty, so as long as he's going to be okay through here, we don't have to worry about it. But he does go wide. I don't think there was any contact. So we're going to try and inherit the position. We'll go side by side. But I'm in a quite a nice strategic position here with the inside of the corner. And he has a one-second penalty. I don't think he'll fight it too hard as they're squabbling ahead. So here we go. Late on the brakes. Get it turned in. Try not to get fishtailed um, as we straighten up the car. And, yeah, that's a, a number of cars ahead that we really want to get involved in. We're up to P14. This is a really, really good drive for me so far to get P14 in top split. I think there is a number on my car. So uh, we're matching where we should be in terms of DR. Only a lap and a half to go now. I mean, this could go from a good result to a superb result if we could pick up a few more positions. If anyone ahead does um, get a track limits penalty, that could double up by the end of the race. And because the Group 2 cars are so fast, even though the cars had looked deceptively a long way away, actually they're not in terms of seconds, so track limit penalties could come into play. Here comes Manu, he's going to just um, slot back inside, probably doesn't want to put me off, he might be thinking the same thing as me. Let's see this penultimate corner, do we get a good run? A little bit of a slide, Manu's going to get a superb run, I'm going to let him get up the inside. Again, I think there's more to gain here, potentially more to gain. So I'm probably going to lift off a little bit earlier. Yes, just let him have the corner and we'll slot him behind. Happy to give him a little nudge. Um, but at this point, not a lot of overtaking opportunities to go. Am I going to go up the inside or not? Let's see. I suspect I probably will do. Yes, I do, knowing me. So we do go up the inside. We're going to go very deep. Oh, we go way too deep. So we did actually overshoot the apex that time. Manny goes back through. We haven't lost a huge amount of time. But um, we're quite a bit further back from the pack now. So at danger of not capitalising on any penalties that do get dished out back into 15th place. People looking like they were considering going side by side. And then they thought against it, although they are going side by side ahead, at the head of this pack. That is 10th and 11th. Is anyone going to yield through these corners? Looks like the black car's going round the outside. That is incredibly brave. But then just, just slot in. And you can see how close this race is. What a combo. It was a superb combo last time when this came up, and it's a superb combo this time. I think one of the best combos in GT Sport in the daily races for me. And someone does get a half second penalty, that will get round up to second if we can get close enough to capitalise. But they're a long way ahead at the moment. People going side by side, and that car's going to go wide. Can we get within a second here to claim that position? Look at the delta. I think it's going to be close. We might just do it. And we do on the line. We are going to get 14th place. Wow. Okay, so all the way from the back up to 14th. 
And in the end, we were only three seconds off 10. So I'm really, really chuffed about that result. Um, not my best combo, but a combo I really, really enjoy. Interesting to see a few different cars in the midst there. I still have a few Lexus in the middle. A Lexi, maybe I should say. But I hope you enjoyed that race. Five positions gained, starting from the back. It was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time.